be hot enough either, I bet. So we had our well drilled yesterday. If you're new here, I'm Megan and this is Bo and our daughter Beckett. Ten months, ten months. <laughs> For 10 months now, we've been living on our land in northeastern Washington while building a shop house. We've had our struggles and we didn't pass inspection. And we've had our successes along the way. But each day we are closer to moving in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on this wild ride. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. So we didn't pass our electrical inspection yesterday, which is a bummer. Um, fortunately, it's not a lot of major issues, most of which we already corrected yesterday um, after our inspection, but it's still just, it's a bummer to fail. So uh, we got that done. Those items taken care of all except for one. We have to change out the breaker for the air conditioning unit. It um, was too small. That's ordered and it won't be here till tomorrow. So then we'll call tomorrow to get our final redone. Um, we did call for our final final with the county. I'm not sure how that'll work, not having our final electrical. <laughs> I lost it due to dead battery, sorry. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Yada, yada, yada. That's almost done. Um, and then right now we're just working on all this finishing stuff, like all the caulking, which by the way, is a massive project. All the shelving and all the trim and the door frames. I have the upstairs done with the exception of this closet. So I'm gonna finish this today. I started it last night. Um, so part of it's done. But uh, I'm gonna finish that today. And then I'll move downstairs and get going. <laughs> but I haven't even started. The, most of the spackling is done downstairs, um, but not the, I haven't even started caulking down there. So it's going to be a process. Um, and then I think we'll do all the touch up painting up here and get it cleaned. That way the upstairs is like ready, ready. Um, and then work on the downstairs. So. <laughs> a process this finishing work man it's no joke I mean it's no big feat like um, drywall but it's just a lot a lot of little stuff so a lot of tedious time-consuming things so anyways we'll hop to it um, let's see it's June just became June so we're, st we're still getting there we have 14 days till our deadline which is why these um, final inspections need to go through good. And again, that's just with the bank. Um, June 15th is our, our, is our deadline. Uh, so as long as we get the COO from the county and our final inspe electrical inspection passed, we, can, we just have to have all of our paperwork submitted to the bank by the 15th. So, But I would really just like to start moving things in and not be doing this stuff still. I don't want to have to like move stuff into the closet and then take it all back out to caulk and paint it. So I'm gonna get it caulked, gonna get it primed, gonna get it painted. That's the plan. Trying to figure out where I left off yesterday. <laughs> Bo grabbed this big caulk. So it goes on white, but once it dries, it's clear. So we kind of have to figure out where uh, you left off. Be done. Not like done done, because when are you really done done, right? But that way we can start working on some of the outdoor projects. And maybe even do some of the fine tuning stuff inside once the weather turns again. But we need to get our garden going. We want to, um, I've never used this tool before. I'm trying it out. It's supposed to be. I did so much yesterday and I apologize for flipping you off, but the wood in here is rubbing the skin off of my finger, so I'm trying this tool. Um, but we, yeah, we want to fix the chicken coop. Build, oh, we'll build a new one. We gotta get our garden put in. Start on the landscaping. I don't think this little tool is gonna work very well. Yeah. 
So some accent things like and stuff like that. Well, we can always finish later, but we just want to get moved in. We're tired of being stuck in the shop in the camper. It's dark. <laughs> you can never tell when it's like daylight outside. So here we are. I'm much better at this with my middle finger, but it's so raw from this wood <laughs> and all the cloaking that I had to switch fingers. And I'm like not nearly as good at it for that one. <laughs> The new washer and dryer are here getting, oh, I was like, whoa, how the dogs need it open? <laughs> um, getting installed, but the washing machine is two inches too big for the space. So, I wonder if we could turn them. Yeah. Oh, it must that definitely have more Well, the hoses would have to like, I mean, but we could always put shelving or something in. Cause I really don't want them to be stackable. You know? I, I mean, if we have to, we, it's fine, it's whatever, it's not the end of the world. We could probably put them on the table or something here, the folding table. Mm -hmm. The issue, I think, would be the drain. It has to be able to drain into here. Mm -hmm. I brought it at the mm -hmm. thing in that side. You bought the drain table? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go off because it has a dent somewhere. Yeah, it right is. The dent's right there somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. You can write us for that. I know. <laughs> You have to like really look for it. But they do, there's like straps. Yep. Is it possible to turn it? Like to have it so that's this way? Huh? Or the hoses, will the hoses and drain and stuff not work? Like if we put them against that wall this way? That wasn't the original plan. Like you were, but you were going the way it works. It might not be long enough. This is what's not going to be long enough. Okay. Because you see how that's at the very bottom? Right. It's just. Pretty barely reaching it. There. Okay. Looks like you guys are gonna have to cut the camera down. <laughs> Unfortunately, those are installed. Yeah. No, I'll just stack them. That's your best bet, mm -hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't look right and good. Leaving it like this? Yeah. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. you're fine. At least you'll be able to wash your clothes. Though. Thank you guys. You're welcome. What's the YouTube channel? Uh, build Wild. Wilds build. with a Y I'm and not an I. Build wild with yep. Y? Yep. Taking a quick break from the caulking escapade. I have everything done with the exception of the pantry. Um, and my friend Abby is priming the last of the closets. She's one closet ahead of me, so she'll be done as soon as she's done with the closet in the office. And then we can get all those painted. Um, but Bo went to go pick up this tub, the one that melted. <laughs> so our replacement is finally here. He went to go pick it up. So once again, I get the wonderful job of digging out that hole. Luckily, this one isn't nearly as deep as the other ones. So it shouldn't be as bad. It's still gonna be a pain in the butt because all that pea gravel just moves wherever it wants to. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna end up bringing out, you know, six five gallon buckets full, but Nonetheless, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So, going to hop to that. Hopefully, get it mostly done before Bo gets back from picking the tub up. So then he can get this done. This is kind of like the last major um, thing that needs to be installed. Everything else has been installed, or our hood vent, but that's potentially not coming until next week. Really hoping that that's not an issue with clothing, but you never know. You just you never know.
stuck. I'm stuck on something. I feel it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, yeah, just a tiny bit. Okay? All right, now push it slowly. There, got it. Um, foot and a half. So this underground PVC here threads into the shop. Um, this is for the water lines for the tub. So this is a freestanding tub. We weren't quite sure how we were gonna be able to do this because it's a freestanding head also. So it's not connected to water lines in the wall. So Bo rigged up this pipe here that's in the concrete. And we were just threading the water lines through there. <laughs> Yeah. I might go get a couple different valves okay. in the store. Uh, the stuff you got today? The stuff. Oh no, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, Things big. I don't even remember what it looks like, so I'm excited to see it all put together. Bo made it home with a non-melted tub. So we're opening her up, get a glimpse. We just lifted it out of the truck and I was expecting it to be super heavy and it's really not. But it is a freestanding. What? Oh, this is for. <laughs> Hi, chicken! I bet that's 100% what it's for. Oh, no wind noise. noise. Uh-uh. I like the shape of it. Is that yeah. I think we're gonna have to put it. This thing's huge. Oh, maybe that's to hook up that. This? Oh yeah. Or is that just the overflow? Or is it a? It might be overflow. It could still be for that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm plumbing. Here's the ladies. Did I notice a plug in what? Yeah, there's like a hose. And there's a floor plug, yes. Oh man. It's a serious travel there. Like it's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it should be here. But you just had to lift it because of all those fittings? Well, because we didn't have the right thing. That thing should have been placed in the concrete. Oh, but we didn't have it when they poured the concrete. Well, I wasn't sure of our capabilities to get it right. lined up. Which, considering we didn't get one thing that we thought we were going to, I'm glad I didn't put it in there. Yeah. Well, um, except for the fact, I take that back, because this, this is correct. Where the, where that, the tube yeah. was, so yeah, it was a we would have been fine. Um, so, of course I wasn't filming, but Bo told me I was on, in the shop to turn the water on. And he was holding the hose for the faucet into the tub. So he said, turn it on. And then he starts yelling. Well, he forgot to put the actual, what is that even called? The faucet on the top of it. So it was just shooting like a fountain. <laughs> Out the top. <laughs> he got all wet. <laughs> That's okay. The other day when we, or I was going around fixing plumbing issues and I realized that I didn't have um, the compression gasket in the back of this toilet tight enough. 
So I went to fix it and it just slipped right off the copper pipe and shot me in the face with water and it went everywhere. I totally flooded. I don't know why the compression gasket wasn't in there. I didn't have, wait, what? Oh, the other one? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyways, I didn't have that one tight enough, but then I had to like dry, the trim stuff hasn't been caulked yet, so the gym had water in it, the laundry room had water in it. There was water everywhere. Um, the one that Bo's talking about, the hose that runs from the on the water on off switch to the toilet. We couldn't get it on the other day, so I just took the little rubber piece out of it. You took the gas thinking, <laughs> thinking that oh okay now it'll fit. Well that caused leak issues when we were doing turn the water on and apparently I needed to go back in there. Luckily I saved it. So it's back in there now. The toilet is fully functioning. And so is our shower. <laughs> Do you like our shower curtain? So cute. With our zip ties. I bought a shower curtain and um, a rod and no hook. Whoops. Can't wait to climb in this giant bathtub. I'm not getting hot water. Did you take the handle off again? Because this one has that same thing inside of it. What does? That handle. Are you sure? Yes, it's on the directions. Why? <laughs> I don't know. All these fancy Delta handles have this thing in the... It's an anti scold Yeah, so then that way when you turn the water on, it doesn't, it's not boiling. But it's like set to the lowest. We found out like when we turned our showers on and stuff, it's set to like the lowest point. And it was in the bottom of the other side last the other day. Um, so the hot water wasn't coming on, so we had to fix it inside that. All right. Well, I think we made it. Wait, where's the sprayer? Or is it just flat? Right you like it? Ow! <laughs> yeah, I do. Good. Definitely doesn't move when there's water in it. Look at all these tools in here. What project? 800, 800 people. Had our final electrical, electrical inspection and our final um, inspection with the county to get our COO. 